What's up, y'all? It's the Onyx Report. Black Mask in this news for the day. Gotta excuse the noise. Uh, anyway, this one is a bit of a strange one. And I'm not going to profess to have any answers about it, but I do have a few thoughts. Nevertheless, let me share what uh, good brother, shout out to Marvis, uh, sent me that I think you might find a little interesting. This has to do with um, a Walmart walkthrough that the good brother had, and he decided to share some of the video with me. So uh, let me uh, I'll put it full screen for you so you can see it a little better. But here it goes. It's not really about the sound. So it's short, never said it was long, right? But what the brother was sending me was uh, an image that you can see in the uh, men's section of uh, Walmart. And this is on the East Coast. Um, and I'll leave it at that. But he noticed walking around the men's section, a number of shirts all dedicated to black women. And he thought it was odd and rightly so. I thought the same when he sent it to me, but it reminded me of something I talked about last year. Last year I was looking for, it was, I believe it was shower curtains. And I talked about this on my show. It was one, it was, it was on one of my weekly live shows. I was looking for shower curtains. And I wanted uh, something black. I just, you know, wanted to, I, it wasn't, I wasn't dead set on buying it, but I just wanted to see something black, something related to black folk. And I was on Amazon. Now, I haven't, I didn't decide to talk about this till just now. So I haven't checked the Amazon to see if it's still the same or any different. But as of last summer, when I looked up like African, black, African-American <laughs> shower curtains, it was a whole bunch of shower curtains of black women. I think there was only like one that had a brother on it and he was with a woman. Like there was nothing other than that, you know, nothing. And I found it interesting. And then it got to a point where it wasn't about what I was trying to buy. It was really just about looking at this whole marketing engine that really is about centralizing and foregrounding black women. And I think it's a red herring, right? I think, it, I think it's a market response because you have whole industries that are trying to capitalize off of this post me too was well, not even post me too yet. It's still happening. This me too moment, right? Which I think in, in the black community is very much aligned with the rise of BLM. It's this, uh, this, you know, kind of centralizing of, um, you know, focusing on black women and girls, but as you know, since we're in a capitalist system, this isn't about justice. It isn't about foregrounding women or black women because it's right or it's inherently good or it's morally so. No, this is about profit. This is why we're seeing all of this in these movies, you know, it, it, whether it's sci-fi or action, you're seeing, you know, these 60, 60 pound women kicking 300 pound men through walls. All of this is really centered around monetizing femininity or at least if not femininity, um, monetizing female empowerment, right? And this monetizing of female empowerment is supposed to be profitable. How profitable it actually is based on how much is being spent. We'll find out in the next few years if they keep doing it, but they're trying. And so this little moment of walking through Walmart and looking at these shirts, um, is an interesting statement. So from shirts to shower curtains, to sci-fi movies, the television shows, the emphasis on women is market driven. And so in one vein, I want to remind brothers, when you see stuff like this, that's what it is. But I think part of the conversation that needs to be had is that at some point there are women who have really bought into this as if this means something more than the market being driven along these lines. And I think one of the things that, the, and, and I think we've seen this politically as well, right? In the last major presidential presidential election, we saw this strong push, right? Um, this 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 kind of rhetoric around black women are going to save the country, and they actually use that rhetoric. If you guys remember, they're going to save the country. They're more, they, you know, this inherent morality that we, you know, we're supposed to believe that black women just have. It's going to liberate everybody. I think these were all market ploys when it came to securing a black female vote. 
you know, I think even Kamala was was kind of a flag toward that. And of course, in the next four years, uh, if not eight, but I think it'll more likely be four. They'll be pushing for her as a presidential candidate as long as she doesn't do anything egregious, right? Which will secure the black women vote again. I think that's one of the reasons why, um, you know, uh, um, President Biden can be so dismissive about following through on any of his promises to the black community. Because at the end of the day, as long as there's a black female candidate running for president in the next few years, what does he need to follow through with a promise for? See, these shirts represent a more central idea. They represent a willingness to be symbolized, a willingness to, to be put on a platform and given empty symbols. And if that will secure real life votes, certain industries find it worth it. It doesn't really cost them much to do any of the things we're talking about, but if it secures a response and a response that ultimately pulls the black community apart and away from some of the major arguments being posed in the last century for empty symbolism. And that's what these shirts in a Walmart represent to me. These shirts about black women in a Walmart in the men's section, that's what it, re what it represents to me. It represents an attempt to buy black women's material resources, whether it be financial or whether it be, be electoral in exchange for nothing, empty symbolism. I think that's what this really looks like. And when I think, and, I, and even when I look at Kamala, all I really see is a token who has nothing substantive for the black community any more than selling sisterhood t-shirts to men in the men's section of Walmart. But it doesn't matter. It's pretty much going to be enough to, to guarantee a vote. It did last time, and that was just for a VP position. I think it's going to happen again. And I think as long as we keep falling for these bananas in the tailpipe, it is what it is. And, and this kind of thing definitely separates many black men and women, although politically it doesn't. I mean, by and large, black men vote left to a great degree, like it, don't like it. It is what it is. And I don't think we do so because of these kind of ploys. But at the end of the day, I've been hearing more grumbling, more frustration about not being heard from black men than at any other point in my lifetime. And we're going to see where that goes really are because I think these kind of gestures split black men and women but maybe not necessarily electoral and uh, electorally but I think it's going to manifest in other areas that we least expect because the split that I'm hearing is not just coming from men on YouTube it's coming from men who don't even know what's going on on YouTube it doesn't it, it's coming from spaces for men that I've interacted with that just you know you would never associate with what we would call red pill ideas. And yet I'm hearing more and more of it, or at the very least, I'm hearing questions being asked that I never heard before. Anyway, um, shout out in the comment section. Tell me what you think, tell me what you see and tell me, um, if you've heard any conversation from people you never thought you'd hear it from that suggests a split in the community. Obviously, we have that amongst the right and the left and so on and so forth. But I'm really more interested in a split that is not as easily anticipated, especially by people in your life that you never thought you'd hear it from. Just a curiosity of mine. Shoot it out in the comment section. Hope you guys are well. I'll take it easy. Peace. <laughs>